Yo, damn, that was one of the gooeyest brownies I've ever had. Thanks for the food, Resigne. Here's your stream. All right, cycle 56. Here we go. What is up? Well, last time we got rid of the tractor. We are tractor less right now. We fred the uh, the navigator. <laughs> and we're growing our mushrooms. Okay, we need 80 bucks. Okay, we have 80 bucks. That's why we're here. Okay. Let's pay. We're about to make a little investment. Boom is my heart, little dude. Alright, that's great. Here we go. Bam. How you doing? How's the view? A scam or an opportunity? Bliss seems solid enough and this might be your best chance to get into Hub's repair trade. Do we want to get into Hub's repair trade? Bliss is incredibly grateful. I'll pay back every chit, I promise you. I guess you two are partners now. Bay view. Man, I need a bay. Repair bid. Bliss is bidding on jobs at the Hub. It'll take a few cycles and some perseverance comes in all right we got zero bucks it's not a bad place to be I guess all 
red, yeah, I have to make the distillery. Mm -hmm. Can't do squat without some, uh, without some dice. End it. End it. Oh, my ear pot is dying again. Okay, we're starving. Oh. There it is. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I have to buy new audio equipment. <laughs> ah well. We are very interested in, in building the still now. You'll need to cut down Tala's tank and turn it into the still and a fermentation tub, as well as setting up the room for distilling. It's a big gerb. Okay, it's fine though. We got this. Come on, what do you mean? Bam. Okay. I mean, it's either this or growing mushrooms. Ne neutral. Your face is neutral. How about that? Alright. Here we go. Mm hmm. One more, a couple more. I guess we could do one. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, hey, positive. Okay, we got three, that's great. That's great. That's very positive. Steal the harvest. No need to do that. Fungal growth. Okay. All right. I guess we're just gonna do another one of these. We're in the business now. Okay. Great. Stabilizer synthesis. Synthes synthes we need the club heads, which we don't have. So we're just gonna build the distillery. What's going on here? Sabine and Rabai have been holed up in her office for a while now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was that was a big that was a big like season ender. Oh for crying out loud, you're never here. Okay. Are we gonna do this or maybe do this? Alright, let's do this. We got some money and we'll get some progress on this. Oh crap, we're still starving. Ay ay ay. Alright. Got a little bit of a discount as well. That's nice. Alright. forget what my apartment is. Alright. What's up, pussy cat? What's up, pussy cat? Okay. You got five. Mm-hmm. Here we go. As you enter Rubaya's office, you hear voices. Is that Sabine? You push open the door. Sleeper, with good timing, Rubaya calls out as you enter. I wanted to introduce you to someone. The man is standing at the center of the room, speaking quietly with Rubaya. He turns as you come in. Meet Yannick. Uh-oh. Hey, Sleeper. Been hearing good things from Rabbi. He smiles, an easy smile. Rubaya. Good to meet you. We'll play along. Likewise, likewise. Now, Rabbi, where were we? Actually, Rabia places his hand on your shoulder. The sleeper was what I wanted to talk to you about. She doesn't spare you a look. What is going on? Well, okay then. Go on. <laughs> I like the look. 
I'd like to recommend them to your ward. Uh-oh. They have shown themselves to be a capable ally here on the spoke side, but we have more than enough to run our territories. I hear the main block is proving more difficult. Gani leans forward slowly. Uh, it's a master, Abby. He waits, his thin and glass shimmering despite the lack of light in the unit. I can use them. Rubaya smiles. Good to hear. I can immediately... Yanni cuts her off with a raised hand. One second. He steps one surprisingly light step close to you. You eager to work, sleeper? Greek accent? What the hell is a Greek accent? Why would Yannick have a Greek accent? What the hell? He steps one surprisingly light step closer to you. You eager to work, sleeper? What kind of work? Nah. Yes. Hmm. Yannick nods his office listening to music. Okay, then. You certainly aren't sure if he's talking to you. That concludes it. Yannick pronounces. Now, sleeper can come work in the ward. Anytime to like. You should revive a confused look. Rubaya finally glanced at you for a moment, but it's so fast you almost missed it. Good. I know you'll be happy with their work, Yan. Yannick reaches out and squeezes her shoulder. Sure, Rabbi. No, please. Let us old friends get back to it. Ah, uh, we should have asked what kind of work. We were too eager. I think he knows. I think he knows. You guys, Rubaya, away, are leaving you just standing alone. You look to Rubaya, but she's deep in conversation, so stunned and confused. You leave. We're not stunned or, or confused. We're the insider. We know exactly what's going on. Yannick's ward. Uh oh. Earns Yannick's trust. Okay. Patrol the block. The massive block at the center of Lowen is made up of layers and layers of units. Patrolling this vertical city is a challenge. Yannick is a strange character, but he seems to understand the value of hard work. He'll gain his trust with time. I'll gain his trust with some good dice over here. Plus three. That's nice. Because Turkish Greek that he's got's going on. Really? I didn't really see it like that, I'll be honest with you. Uh, wanna become famous? No, I wanna earn Yannick's trust and then I can stab him in the back. I think you did good about not asking what kind of work. Like you are here to work for the mob, no question, etc. That uh, that could also be a that could also be a thing. I was just intrigued by his hmm. I don't like when someone gives me a hmm. The leader of Yatagan, no Turkish Greek. Okay, I see what you mean. Why Greek though? Turkish, I can see it. Okay, here we go. Yannick trust factories, restaurants, surgeries, schools, the layers of the block are rich with stories and problems to solve. You are starting to learn them all. Here we go, baby. You almost laugh when you see it. The same smell recorder small recorder stuck to a different wall this time written across the fluorescent tape is that familiar word sleeper you grab it quickly what's her name why is everyone call keep calling us name uh, sleeper what the hell is her name Rubaya says sorry Sabine's voice sparks up once again she said she didn't have time to brief you before setting up with the old man I'm sure you've get you've got to play by now we did sleeper hasn't earned this stress work the block then we need you to get into his office it's risky, but obviously you're the only one of us. He doesn't already know. Either way, we need to locate the link to SNR. You hear a shout in the background of the recording. Rubaya says, be careful. Sabine continues. The data suggests there's some relay processing the implant data and sending it to SNR. But we can't lock down its position. Either he's moving or uh, it's moving itself. Or he's rerouting through other relays. We can't understand it. Maybe we can find some details on it in his office. Once he trusts you, you should be able to get close enough to get in the office. You'll get one shot at this. The recording creaks and, and uh, vinies. <laughs> That's the final piece of the puzzle to end this. A pause. Good luck, sleeper. I'm sorry, too. Be safe. Correct. You pocket the recording just in case and walk away. It looks like it's up to you. Okay. Good thing we didn't throw it away this time. Ah. <sighs> I mean, like in the future, all of those not same people are same people. Your name is Gumbarski, if you know what I mean. No, Mission Impossible team plays. Okay, bam, 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 bam. Yannick's office. Okay, we can just do it. We can just go and do it. Do we need dice for this? Find the relay? Okay, I think I can go with this. Maybe not. <gasps> oh, he's 
medicine will have to wait. We don't really use these agent stuff, do we? No, we don't. Um, are my goddamn mushrooms ready? <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna do it. Maybe I wasn't, whatever. I wasn't, I wasn't. Oh, we're flickering. Flickery, flickery, fli- Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, Moritz! Hey! A quiet voice greets you as you leave. Sleeper, it's me. Who? Huh? Moritz, the ice cream maker. I work for Bless? He rubs the back of his head. You're not an easy person to find. Uh, I don't really have an address. Mortis holds up his hand. Hey, no judgment. It's cool. We both stand there for a moment, each waiting for the other to speak. What's up? Ah, uh, yeah, well, uh, Bliss needs you. A job just came in, a real big one. She's asking for you to come up and help her out. I'll be right there. Nice, yeah. I've got it, dude. Cool, 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 cool. Bliss just likes me to do a thorough job, you know? See you, sleeper. Moritz ambles off down the corridor, kicking off filter cap on his way out. Time to head to Bliss's bay then. I mean... Rico has something in her hands when you enter the lab, and immediately we didn't go to Bliss. Uh, Miss, did you get the rewards from that what's-his-name you played chess with? I played chess? I think I played chess. Did I play chess? The Tala or whatever it's called? Rico is... Okay, Rico, let's go. Rico, you so bad. Mmm. It looks like another twist of Woody's stems. A ring about the circumference... Circumference of a human head. Consisting of a single stalk at one side and a branch the woven network at the other. As you approach, she holds it up. And in the lights of the lab, it looks like... A cra... I mean... Yeah, yeah, a crown. Rico finishes your thought. She smiles and shakes her head in disbelief. Is that where grew? It is. I came to the plant this morning and this loop was all that was there. Meh. The seed grew right back into itself, twisted uh, up out of the soil. That being you encountered in the cloud, as you call it? Was it wearing one of these? She is especially still unsure if she's somehow embroiled in an overlong prank. Uh, no. She sighs. <sighs> I suppose that would be too easy. I root crown. Hmm. She places the object on the bench and shuffles to her analysis terminal. Her face lit. She's, she's gone by its amber light in the dim corner of the lab. Oh, by the light. I see. I mean, it was something like chess. I mean, your messenger is something like a chess. Well, it isn't exactly a plant anyway. Not from what I can tell. No leaves, no chloroplasts, just a series of film phil filaments encased in cellulose walls. Right. Uh, how did it grow? It seems the seed contained everything it needed. A self-contained entity, no less. But that isn't the good part. Look at this. You see a cross-section scan of the crown. It's layers of plant-like structure on the full view until you reach the center. There, instead of a xylem and phloem from transporting nutrients, something branch and woven glints. Are, are those goddamn wires? She laughs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure whether to say yes or the opposite of yes. They are not wires like those in electrical system, no. But they are filaments of a conductive material. So, yes. She, she leans closer to the screen. But you see those branches? Mm, they remind me of dendrites, of neurons. 
which is frankly ridiculous. You look back at the crown. I wish she was she was speaking a little bit faster, dude. You look back at the crown on the table as Rico uh, fusses over the scans, and you suddenly realize what it reminds you of. I do. You remember signing the forms, the walk to the sleeper tanks, the cold metal floor. Then you remember the crown they fitted you with, the branching structure of wires and pads. No, not a crown. They called it an interface, the tool of your emulation. <laughs> Your transference from neurons to electrons, an inter interface. That is your gift from Gardner. You turn back to Rico. It's an interface. Rico looks at you puzzled. Something clicks in her mind. Perhaps something she heard from the sleeper she had helped all those cycles ago. She starts talking partly to you, partly to herself. If the club heads were made for you, then this too could be made for you. For your frame. She shuffles over quickly to an interface that word that had stuck to his strange branch object quickly in your mind. You are right. That entity, it is the entity I have been looking for. The are entity which is controlling the Greenway, which has been maintaining it, supporting it, has been guiding it for all these decades. <sighs> they want to talk with you. Rico leads you to see. I will be here, sleeper. If something happens, if you wish me to remove the crown, the interface, whatever you want to call it, just squeeze. She grips your hand tightly. You meet her eye, clouded with age, but bright with the thrill of new discoveries. Then she places the interface on your head. Everything blinks out. Oh my god. Back in the river, back in the dark flow, but something is different, meow. You're no longer pushed, no longer blocked, and buffeted by the swarm, by the storm. Instead, it flows around you. You move and it parts, letting you pass. Something else resists, but it gives easily enough. You look back and see your body. You have left it behind. Summer Rico's voice is talking to you, asking you questions. It is excited, eager, desperate to know what lies on the other side, what the entity has to say to you. You realize how long she has waiting. she's been waiting for this moment, for the moment of meeting between the inhabitants of the Greenway and its protector, and yet she's still on the outside. You shake off the sadness. You will be her eyes. Then you see the figure, Gardner, out in the storm planting. It takes less than a moment to reach them. You have never felt so free. This is how Navigator must have felt. Released from their prison. This, you think, is what it feels like to be in the place you were built to inhabit. Gardner does not turn at your approach. They go on planning, but their voice whispers into waters like a sharply rising current. You grew the gift. Their speech hisses around you. Good. I am glad. Uh, I wanted to meet you. Then we are the same. Both eager shoots seeking one another. How does it feel to be free of your seed? They stoop to plant again. Mm. It feels good. That is good. Feeling good is good. They press the seed into the loamy depths. There was some disagreement, continues Gardner as if you were picking up on a long held conversation. With the others, they felt you were a danger, but they're always cautious, especially the funny guys or fungi. They like old loam, known knows wide and stable networks. The Fungi were cautious? Mostly, yes. Although there are many among their number who favor short growth cycles, thick nutrient veins, and sudden shifts. He gestures out in the storm, and uh, though you cannot see them, you feel presence of all, all, all around, sensing this audience with great interest. After all, they understood that it was I who made them their crowns, and without them, they would not have joined the chorus. So, they see that it is only fair that you get your chance to join too. Uh, you made more crowns? I made them all. Gardner moves away a little, looking for another planning spot. It was so lonely here, but before long I found them and began to let them in. Gardner stoops again. We are millions. Ah oh, man, that game, we need to play that game again. And we grow, I hope you understand. I am unused to speaking to your kind. It has been... 
many cycles since my last conversation. I think it was with Chief Executive Trellick himself. You look around and you see it. Every growing thing, every non-human being in the Greenway is here. Their network connected, branched and linked by this strange being, this artifact of the old station. The impossible dream of a senile farm administration, AI, a living network. You could dissolve here, you realize, free of that decaying body. You wouldn't need to be a person. Why would you, among all these other minds? You turn away from the garden for a moment and look back at your body. A tiny hairline thread connects it to you. You hear Rico's voice again, still asking, still checking in. Is this it, chat? Is this the ticket out? Are we free? Are you okay? Sleeper. Oh, is that Rico's voice? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, what are they saying? So she's, she's, she's yelling from the other side, right? What are they saying, Sleeper? Are you still here, Sleeper? Something in your sights sighs a long sigh. A sigh that speaks of an exhaustion beyond tiredness. That's me today. An exhaustion rooted deep inside you. It stems from the effort of answering questions, of answering problems of getting up and breathing each cycle. But something else resists the sigh. Here we go, the instinct, the, the survival instinct. A yearning, a sense of distance, a desire to squeeze that hand that holds you for its warmth, its blood, its complexity, to make a gesture that says, I'm still here, I'm still alive, I'm with you. The two ideas spin within you, making you nauseous. If you break that thread, you will be free free to dissolve here, to grow strange and beautiful among a million others. If you follow it, if you squeeze Rico's hand, you will wake up back in the dying body, with all the pain and warmth that entails. We are picking the pill, chat, we're picking the pill. Now is the moment to choose. Break the thread, follow the thread. Uh, if you break the thread, you will be free, free to dissolve here. To, if you follow it, if you squeeze Rico's hand, you will wake up back in the Okay, so follow is Rico and break is dissolve. If we dissolve here, is that just the end of the game? My review for this game says grow strange and beautiful. Name of your sex tape. Hey! <sighs> it's the end, you can just continue from save and choose to go to record and continue the game. Don't answer questions like that. What are you doing? Is this your first time in the chat? What? Anyways, we are choosing the Matrix though. We gotta know the truth. We gotta know the truth. Your eyes track the thread across the whirling dark, back to your body. This choice, you realize, will not be presented again. I know, I know. I know. There will be other choices in the future. Different, but others. You don't look back at Gardner, you don't dare risk it. Instead, you follow the thread delicately, carefully, like a diver following their lifeline back to the surface. The river whirls around you, but it doesn't pull. It isn't jealous, neither does it understand. It is, after all, just a river. It isn't a person, a flesh and blood person, with wants, with desires, with the capacity for love and hate. It doesn't understand you, and you don't understand it. So you don't focus on it, you don't think about it, on what feels like such a long journey back through the dark. You set your mind on eyes instead, on hands, things you can focus on, hold on to. And then, after an age of crossing, you are there, settling back into the chair, into a body in a chair, and the overwhelming sensations that come with being a living thing with a rich and detailed sensorium. For a moment you feel like you have made a terrible mistake. Who would choose this weight, this anxiety, this deep well at the center of existence? But then you feel it, Rico's hand gripped hard around yours, trembling a little, sweating a little. Rico's hand with its brittle bones and crumpled skin. Rico's hand. And in that moment you understand why you made this choice. And then you squeeze Rico's hand and you wake up. 
Ooh. What the shit? Huh, what? What? This is uh, not how I thought this would uh, play out. What? Was it cozy? That's nice. How did it end? It wasn't supposed to end. We just started living. What the hell? We chose life. We chose life. Sleeper? Oh, that was a thing. Okay, maybe we shouldn't. Ah, whatever. Sleeper! Are you still with me? See, you sit up the lamp, a bright green glare that fades as you gather yourself. I'm here. Good. I thought you'd left me for a moment. I did. What the... Uh, who... Uh, tell me about it. Tell me everything. Tell her the truth. You tell Rico everything. You tell her about the gardener, that strange farm and the dismayed AI that has grown to be so much more. About the course, that impossible configuration or network plans, and finally about the choice the gardener offered you. She listens attentively, but her responses are hard to read, and you wonder if she might have made a different decision if she has been in her place. I think she would definitely have made... I think I would have made a different decision if I was in her place. Thank you, Sleeper, for telling. I know it isn't easy to say such things. People so often do not wish to hear strange truths. And thank you for returning to me, though I know you had your own reasons. She squeezes your hand reassuringly. Thanks, Mama. Something passes between you then, a kind of shared sadness for the impossible choice. The choice to escape your body, to stay and suffer it. The smile is warm and generous, and whatever the wisdom of your choice, you are glad to feel welcome in this moment this place. Then suddenly she stands and walks a little way, as if trying to escape an unpleasant thought. You worry that she knows all too well what it takes to make a choice like you did. Rico sighs. Mm. <sighs> so, Sleeper, do you plan to stay in the commune with us? Uh, for a while. I'm glad to hear it. Rico crosses back over to you and takes one of your hands in both of hers. Haifa needs new blood if it wants to survive, and you are a good friend. Hmm, feeling is mutual. Well, don't let me keep you. As she does, you notice the crown in her hand, and she places it on the bench with great care. You can't help but feel a little curious about what she intends to do with it. Then you are out, breathing the fresh air of the greenway as it was the spring morning. The dapple light makes a patchwork of the greening landscape and you walk in, sensing the movement of the gardener's chorus all around. And you're glad to be here in this strange and beautiful place a little longer. Man, if if we if we've let go, we would never be able to work with bliss. Come on. The other one, the Matrix, was my fave ending. This this was the the Matrix. This is living the living the true life. That was that was letting go. That was just being. It's a little bit. It's a bit. It's a little bit complex, though, right? That one. That one is like being in the fiber, and not living. I guess that is the matrix. Fuck it, though. I guess we'll never know. All right. Can we just do three at the time? Come on. It's opposite from Matrix. <laughs> I finished everything else. The merge with AI, but I always merge with AI. 
You gotta replay the endings? Nah. Not for me. I don't have to do this. I have enough. Alright. Oh, we got two. That's great. Alright. Oh, yeah. You asked me why she's speaking Russian. Well, let me tell you. Because we are in the Haifa commune. A self-sustaining community. Commune members are expected to turn up for work assignment and understand their needs to be met or treated equally. What's... What's unclear here? If it's not gonna be Russian, then what's it gonna be? Am I right? Okay, let's go. Let's see what Bliss wants to, wants to do. Uh oh. It's anarchy, it's not Russia. It's communism. It's commune. It's, it's in the name. Critical action, full system flush. Okay, wait, hello? What? Tank recladding? Two? Oh, four. Sealing the leaks. I think we can seal the leaks pretty nice over here. Risky and danger. Hell yeah. Brilliant, dangerous. And they both work here. Sealing the leaks. Uh, somehow Bliss swung a tanker contract, but the catch is that the work needs to be turned around fast. Too fast. Oh my god, it's only three. Ay, ay, ay. All right, we got half. Oh, son of a biatch. Let's do it. Let's do it. For fuck's sake. All right. It's Newt Newt. All right, Newt Newt. Oh, fuck yeah. We forgot about Ryan. Yannick. I'm, I'm, I'm getting your medicine. I'll be right, I'll be right there. Noot, noot. Oh man, I don't know. Let's do Yannick first, fuck it. You spot the countermeasure of the drawer moments before you touch it. This has to be it, but you can't rush it. You look at the countermeasure on the drawer. It looks like some kind of shock trap. If you'd grab the drawer, you'd likely have thousands of volts running through your system right now. You wince. Once you find the anchor point, it comes way easily enough. You rise it from the drawer quickly and quietly, then listen for footsteps in the corridor outside. Nothing. All clear. For now. You slide the drawer open, looking for other countermeasures that may be inside, expecting to see a chunk of tech, the relay. But as you slip it open, all you see is a handful of wires and an empty implant cradle. Huh. Is this some kind of a mistake? You freeze for a moment, unsure what to do next. Why keep an implant cradle so carefully guarded? You remember Yannick having an implant, a small plate on the side of his head, just above his ear. You assumed it was for hearing or vision. Uh, those shimmering glasses of his come back to you in, in your memory, his strange movements, his speech. You look again at the cradle and there it is printed on the frame. Proprietary technology, proprietary property of SN Arp. So he is live streaming to SN Arp. Oh no, they know we are not dead. Rabia said the relay moved, that they couldn't get a fix on it. What if... Yannick was the relay. Mm -hmm. Thought hits you like a shock. Yannick with a remote relay implant implanted in his head, networked to every single implant and forced in the low end. A shudder runs through you. Is he even in control? Or has SNR warmed, wormed its way into the man? Could he even be considered separate from the corporation itself? You think of your own legal status as proprietary technology. A puppet with cut strings. Time to cut Yannick's strings then. Ooh. Where is all this confidence coming from? You reach around inside the cradle and find it, a remote connection, a tiny bead of a transmitter, likely controlling the link to SNR. There it is. You pause for a moment. 
then you squeeze the heck out of it. It snaps it from the frame and it crumples, sparks and dies. It takes a moment before the shouts come, before the scream, and you're already on your way out down the corridor, down through the unit that serves as the lobby to Yannick's office. Then out onto the walkway where Yannick lies still and forces gather around him bemused. Approach or leave? Okay, chat. What do we do here? As in, if you haven't played the game, Resigne, if I have to say this. On the way while where Yannick lies still and forces gather around him bemused. So listen, we are like the main the main, you know, the right hand man, right, for Yannick now. So it would be kind of normal that we're there and that we're, we're like, yo, that's, that's Yannick. What? Hello? What's going on? Somebody call Space 911 or whatever, you know? If we leave, that would look very sus. That'd be like, isn't he supposed to be the right man, the right hand man, the man on the right, the, you know? I think we go with the approach. You push through the crowd, like, let me in, let me, what, what's going on? And there he is, crumpled. You arrange him a little. <laughs> oh my God, what a goddamn sentence. And there he is, still crumpled. You arrange him a little. Fantastic. Lie him down properly, feeling how thin his body is under his suit. You wonder how long he has been like this, a puppet for SNR. With the connection cut, nothing remains but his body, which means that Yannick, the man, was gone a long time before. You place a hand on his chest, you're sorry for him, but it's done now. And you did not kill this man, he was already dead. You've seen enough. The connection is cut, and whatever Yannick was or had become is gone. Your anger is a hardcore in your chest. Cool. And all of it is focused on S and ARP. Is it S and ARP? If we arrange these letters, would that mean something? S and. S and? Like to eat? S and could be like first? ARP. ARP. ARPERTURE. S and ARP. E A. It's in the game. S and ARP. PARP. Pranes. Pranese. I don't know. Remote. Remote. Control. A remote. Uh, after my little is that you are still waiting for Robert to get in touch, but you trust she will. Okay. All right. Probably didn't even know. Yeah, probably didn't even know. Let me just post something. I gotta do a little post. That's me, that's my voice. Don't worry about it, chat. Don't worry about it. Twitch.tv slash Goombarski. Don't delete it. I need this. I just started watching watching like the Instagrams. Like this is not what I came here to do. Come on. Da 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 ka. Da ka. Come on, post it. Uh not sure just like Tessier Ashpool from New Romancer. I see. Megacore probably two surnames of founding persons. Yeah, that that, that would make any sense. Da 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 Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Do you need all of this? Can we do it with this? Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. It's risky, but we got it. Hey. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. 
Don't worry, baby. You have the best partner out there. As you both wait in the airlock for it to cycle back to the bay, Bliss thumbs you on the arm. Nicely done, sleeper. We cleared our contract, no problem. Once we're back in the bay, we can check the payment has come through and divided, uh, divide, divided it, it, it up. She stretches. Feels good. The air look clunks and the lights flicker. And a moment later, you are back in the bay where Moritz is at the racks trying to figure out where the mess of tools Bliss left in wake should be hung. Hey, Moritz. When it looks over his shoulder, sleeper? He spins a wrench in his hand. Looks like clean work out there. Oh, it's got some of this. You look over at Bliss, who is already gliding over to her management console. She twirls a little as she crosses the cavernous bay. No one you've ever met moves as well in zero G as she does. It's like she was born into zero G love, zero G love, forty two one zero G love. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Shit! She slams a fist on the console. Shit, 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 shit! Look at Moritz. Moritz raises his eyes but stays quiet. He doesn't want to get involved. <laughs> That's a comedic moment for you. Blitz calls you over. Look at this. Just look. Shit! She spins the terminal screen and you see the details for the base account. You see an entry for the Ember's Wake, a repair fee paid in full the moment you finished up the job, but then directly after the whole amount was transferred back out into an unknown account. We have been hacked. This is the work of my axe. She punches the terminal. He must have caught the back door into the machine before he left. She rubs her forehead. There's no we can. <sighs> Moritz, throw me that wrench. You're going to fix it? Moritz spins the wrench across the bay. Bliss smiles. Something like that. Uh oh. There's gonna be a, a, a loud clank now, chat. There it is. Bramble the wrench down on the terminal hard. You flinch backward as the hail of computer parts spill up in the bay in a glittering arc. Fragments of screen, memory, sections of the case. I don't think that's how computers work. Oh, there's probably like a thing inside that she wants to pull up. When Bliss is done, she clips the wrench to her tool belt. Try bag bagdoring your way into this, you little shit. Moritz drifts out from its hiding place amongst the racks. Again, Bliss, you want me to... Uh... He looks at the arc of fragments drifting around the bay nervously. Bliss shakes her head. No, I've got it. You gotta get me a new terminal. Cheapest you can find. Cobble one together from pieces at the Ord Exchange if you have to. Bliss? She looks over at you. I'm good, I'm good now. Bliss slides up to the panel by the wall. Don't worry, one of the first things I had installed when we specced out this place was a cleaning sweep. She flicks over a plastic cover of a huge red button. Watch yourself. She hammers the button and a row of laser emitters unfold from the bay wall. They start crawling their way across the work area. Frying debris as they do in pulses of burning light. What? It's that or just space the whole bay every few cycles? Okay. What now? <sighs> we keep at it. The cleaning sweep buzzes and crackles as it works its way across the bay. That account wasn't everything. I'm not that st stupid. Once more it gets back, I'll secure it and flush everything else. She flicks a nearby piece of debris into the path of the sweep. Clean break. Then we take another contract. That's it. She sets off the sweep as it reaches at the near end of the bay. Hmm. Oh. Where is it? What? Where is my goddamn space? Yes, space hello. This is space Gumbarski. Oh. Oh. I got full. I got bamboozled again. Look at this positive mindset. She's like, yeah, it happened. Nothing you can do about it now. Let's fix the damage and let's go. You don't want the crew back? Ah, uh, I want it, but it's gone. He could have transferred it anywhere. She looks out across the hub. And even if I knew where he was, the last thing I want to do is ever see him again. All right. She rubs the floor again. Uh, I'm sorry, sleeper. I know you work for this too, but next time won't be the same. Better not be, biatch. Who wants to be that kind of person? That's okay. She smiles. See you in a few cycles. Moritz will, uh, you know, make some ice cream, ice cream while you're gone. She winks and kicks off into the bay to finish cleaning up. Okay, it's got to be three cycles. Three or four, whatever that said. Do we need a gimbal? No, I'm okay.
Okay. I don't need a gimbal anymore. Although I am going to shoot tomorrow. Oh yeah. Hold on a second. Love the physical acting on top of the VO. 11 out of 10. Nice. That's that's what recognition. That's what I like to see. Sony battery keeps. Uh, flickering while charging okay here we go fast flashing needs a poor connection between the battery and the charger or a problem with the battery pack remove the battery from the charger and then use a dry cloth or cotton to metal the terminals afterwards try the battery again I don't think that's gonna work but okay let's try okay I'm using the cloth I see something that might be the cause of the problem. Fuck. These little, these little motherfuckers cost a whole bunch of the money, though. All about the money, money, money. Okay. Poor connection. Remove the if it's, uh, then the battery may need to be replaced. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, let's give it a couple of minutes and then we'll see what's up. We are starving, and this is something we have to weigh. Let's go do the most important thing that we can do. Loser dirt bag. Are you talking about me? I mean, four is not a bad, bad stuff, though. Come on. Come on. Hey, positive. Oh, we're going to get some moonshine pretty soon, baby. Oh, my God. We're starving. Oh, my God. We got six. Ugh. We can't do fun things in life and make a living. Wow. Is this a real life simulation? Hey, I think my, my battery is fixed. Oh, my God. Was it just a... Uh, it cannot be. It's probably gonna start flicking in a couple of minutes. Okay. The condition falls rapidly when we don't do this. Okay. Let's do the whole the whole dice thing and then we'll do the We'll do the thing. We'll do the thing. We'll do the monster thing. The monster thing. What'd you say? Casper? Casper wants to play a thing? Yeah, I think we did. If if it's here, then we did it. Was there something here that we need to do? Freight operator, midline security, stealing shipment is going to be picked up even if your calendar system can be full for long. Steal a shipment, get some cryo, cryo me a river. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see. Does she want some of these mods that kiss? Because if she wants it, she got it. Our communist, I mean, I'm our commune friend. The ex-boyfriend seems done, yeah. Great. Okay. Man, this is a bad roll. All right. Fungal growth, okay. It's fungal growing. Do we need something in here? Uh, we got only Uno. We got two of these though. That's nice. I have a commune. Work assignment. Energy, energy. Let's get some energy, energy. Neutral outcome. How about that? Fuck off. Huh? Okay, I think Rico is done for now. Okay, let's go sell some odd stock. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We don't have to do no labor. Ah, it's flicking and flickering again. My battery is dead, everybody. My battery is dead. I'm gonna have to do the shoot tomorrow with only Uno Bateria. That's not good. Though. That's not good. Though. That's not good. Though. That's no bueno. Gonna have to have breaks every 30 minutes. Alright. We got the goods now. Uh, yes. 
Hey, shit. All right. First one to die. Let's try this other one. Oh my god, the other one has the same thing. Let's, let's see if it's dead. Maybe it's not it. Maybe it can still be saved. All right. Maybe it's the charger. Oh, okay. Pog. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's do it properly. Can you get a new one quickly? I can help. <sighs> what, at 11 p.m.? No. Eh, we'll manage. Don't worry about it. Okay, we did it. I just have to get my eyes out and then I'll be right back. They're so dry. Look at these. Look at these dry eyes. Dry your eyes, mate. Stop at Cyberpunk right now, right? I shop tomorrow morning. I start at like 8 a.m. So no. <sighs> Can't see any. <laughs> Maybe it's like a Nintendo cartridge. We just do a little, <laughs> and it will work. We'll see. Okay, the other one seems stable so far. Okay, Tala, Tala and I, baby. Tala stands back from the newly finished still and tub, hands on hips. And let me tell you, hips do not lie. Look at this, the Overlook Distillery in all its glory. She squeezes you around the shoulders. Thank you. How sourcing ingredients. Tala smiles. I think you got most of it covered between the food factories in the low end and the farm stacks on the greenway. However, there is an issue. Uh, What's the problem? Well, Girol the drink, as you probably guessed, is named after Girol the mushroom. That's what gives it the golden color and earthy taste. The alcohol is infused with the mushroom along with a mix of spices. We figured that one last time, right? The Girols are the uh, the Romanian mushrooms and Matsutake are the Japanese ones. That means you need Girol caps to make Girol, but no one wants to supply us the Girol. The distilleries of the Girol and the Greenway are taking all the stock from the farm farms Girol out there, so it's hard to get a single cap across Founders Gap. However, I have uno idea. We can grow our Girol caps here, to just an increasingly equipment filled back room. I can bring you mushrooms. Are you sure? I can bring you mushrooms. Tala gives you a kidding look. Where's your vision? Any outside supplier means they take a cut. Okay, maybe not you, but someone somewhere takes a cut. What do you mean? Tala puts a hand on the still. We made a still. We set all this up. How hard can growing mushrooms be? Oh, no, no, no. I meant like I can bring you mushrooms to plant. I'm sorry. I've, there was, there's been a miscommunication. How hard can growing mushrooms be? They don't need light. They, they barely need soil. We can do this. Or at least we could if we had something to grow them from. Uh, like spores. Exactly. Suddenly you feel like you've walked into a trap and you are the perfect person to get me those spores. That's what I agreed to do. Think about it. You built the still. You're great with plants. You know the eye like the back of your hand. Need I go on? Oh, that isn't even true. <laughs> are you flattering me? Are you trying to seduce me, Miss Talapenny? If it's working, then yes. Look, I can't leave the bar and the other people picking up shifts. I'm saying it has to be you. Fine. Wonderful. You'll love it over the greenway, I think. All the fresh air, open space, uh, refusing to be one with uh, the gardener. She sees your fresh air. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. She turns back to look at the still and the fledgling distillery forming around it. It really is something, though, isn't it? And want to or not, you really have to agree. Great. Jazzy. 
tune. Sports for Tyler? Oh, I got sports for days, baby. Well, I got... I got Uno. I got Dos. I'm gonna go get the Trace. Okay, maybe I'm not. Alright. Actually... Get me the heck out of this. Okay, we're gonna do a one of them. And... Okay, let's go get it. Let's go get it! Okay, I guess Moritz will do with that. Hmm. What else when it's all happening? Let's see. I need some spores. Spores, spores, spores. Collect them. Two. Okay, we'll need a couple more. And a couple more. Plus two. Okay. Motherfucker. She sha. Okay, that's great. Good stuff. So cute! Looking at the Grand Explorer, her excitement is infectious. Sure is. Okay. First batch. Alright. It's gonna take a, take a little while. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay. All right, we're stable. Okay, great. This is fantastic. Uh, expose Yannick. Speak to Rabia about what happened. I would like to. Find the SNR really. Can you speak to her mind? What? But where are they? You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I was looking at the wrong part. It's fine. Is this. You're still not here? Okay. Alright, let's check out this and then we'll do a bliss, I guess. Plus one. Alright. Will this get us off the thing? Is that, is that an actual. actual thing? happen. Let's see what's up over here. Meow, meow. We have to wait one more. Okay. And was it was it one more for the mushrooms? Hey, okay. Let's get him. Get him. Fungal yield. Uh, uno. Okay, we got one. Jirol. Matsutake. Only one, though. Come on, though. Okay. Better, better. So I'm guessing you do not want the answer. Joking, joking. Of course. Whatever I asked, I do, I do not want an answer. Of course not. Okay. Two random rare mushrooms. Hey, we're gonna be eating tonight. Okay, here we go. We can plant this as well. That's the cat that we've been eat feeding biscuits to. Okay, here we go. Perfect. We got another batch going. And that's it. Okay, in that case, I guess we can sleep 
at the dorm and wait for wait for Mickey or whatever his name is. The ice cream guy. Starving again. Oh hey, here he is. Here he is. Sleeper? Morris is waiting for you on your way out. How you been? Uh you know, surviving. Actually, um surviving. Morris knows yeah, that's a struggle. He runs his hand through the through his hair. I've been meaning to ask a sleeper, um what's it like? He pauses suddenly and sure. I mean, you know, what does it feel like? To be a sleeper? Yeah. If if you don't mind. Uh Strange. It's strange. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I can't understand, you know, with your fame and, well, everything else. But I wanted to say I have a lot of sympathy for it. Like, having to find a place, having to survive, having no future. <sighs> a lot of people around here understand that. Morris looks away and you notice him for the first time, not just as Bliss assistant, but as someone with their own worries, their own struggles, their own life. You feel bad for not noticing it earlier. Morris looks back at you. Anyway, got a message for you. Please send me down. We've scored another contract and she needs your help. I'll, I'll get the ice cream ready. That's that's the message. Look, I know last time payment didn't come through, but uh, you did good work. Bliss knows that. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay, then. She's doing her best, you know. Uh, why are you so supportive of her? He nods. See you up there. Morris stands and strides off, leaving you in a corner. Time to help Bliss, and maybe this time you think to yourself, it will work out. That's like the. Okay, here we go. This is what we want to know. But let's do this thing first. Ah, uh, we should have. Damn grateful cat. Hate him. Why cello? Fragile biome? Saving the crop? Sacrifice Whoa! Look at all these pluses. Saving the crop, saving the crop, saving the crop and fragile biome. Ay ay ay! Sacrifice section. Went a section, and you have a better chance of saving the remaining crops, but you will lose some in the process. The question is, how many? Reinforced blockheads, engineer. Uh, welding in a zero G farm is tricky. The torch, the heat, the sealant, everything can damage the crop you are trying to save. Saving the crop, the sycamore seeds need to be reinforced and sealed, otherwise the crop will be lost. Fragile biome, the sycamore seeds internal biome is in trouble, every action will bring it closer to collapse. Okay, so both give me the thing. Okay, I see. So this will give me a lot of saving the crop. So only if I have a hundo percento, we're gonna do that. I see, and I don't have the hundo percento. And if I have this, then this is fine, right? Fuck, okay. Uh, and that was positive outcome. Fuck it out. Okay. Okay. Let's do one more. Come on, why do you stop the music now? I need I need to be pumped. Fuck it out. Alright, let's give me a six. Hell yeah, baby. This is how you do it. Fucking hell. Okay. Okay, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, cats at least come back. <sighs> oh my, Corbin Dallas. Okay, here we go. We're starving, but we have no time to eat. Even before you enter the office, you can hear the sound of Rubaya working in the heavy bag. She's hammering the chain, creaking as it shakes with each hit. Okay, we're just chilling. She's been like this since Sabine doesn't finish the sentence. They're sitting on a stool, looking at the terminal on the corner, searching through the SNR data you pulled all those cycles ago. 
I love this. I love that Rabaya is like my whole my whole episode, I guess, of my life was a lie and Sabine is like Yeah. Yeah, she's cool. She she accepted the truth. Okay. Uh how have you been? I'm well slipper. Happy to no longer be hunted. Hm. Yatagan has plenty to deal with, and without Yannick, I'm free. They glance nervously at Rubaya. Rubaya stops punching, and in the silence, you can hear her breathing hard. Sabine looks over at her, and you sense something between them. Ooh, you realize you haven't seen them together since they tried to kill each other in the same unit. A lot has changed since then. They hooked him up like a puppet. Rubaya hits the bag. Rigged that thing in his head so they could control him. Push the old Yannick out. I don't know why he let them in. But it's a lesson. Don't let them in. Yatagan shouldn't deal with corporations, and we never will again. She comes away from the bag. At least Yannick's death has been treated as natural. There's a chance we come back from this, that Yatagan can hold on. There are opportunities trying to take opportunities trying to take control. Is Yatagan the best way to go though, girl? Sabine turns to you. Yes, but now the connection has been broken. I've been looking at removing the trackers from the implants in Yatagan forces. It's a si significant job, but I think with time I can do the surgeries. Rubaya walks away from the back towards the far side of the unit. The surgeries will never happen if Yatagan collapses. She shouts back at Sabine. Clearly this is a well-worn argument in this unit. Uh, will Yatagan really collapse? I don't think so. No, Rubaya doesn't either. They <laughs> look over at her. At least not when she's calm. I love their relationship. What I understand now is that Yadagan can be something if we want it to be. Coming here from SNR, from the core worlds, all I saw was a gang and Yannick keeping me on a tight leash. They shudder. Rubaya believes and I want that belief. I also want to be done with SNR, but I doubt they are done with me. They glance away, rubbing their shoulders. Are you and Rubaya? I hope you're right. Me too. I've been wanting to say, Sabine begins nervously. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you where I came from. I know I apologized before, but I want to again. Properly. When I leaked the data on the sleeper program, it was to try to help people like you. They grit their teeth. But after all the cycles here, being pushed down, pushed around, trying to survive, all that got away from me. So when you turned up, it shook me up, you know. They run a hand through their hair. I wish, I wish, I can't even roleplay that one. I'm sorry, chat. But I ended up here, so... They look at Rubaya. Oh, of course. They reach in the pocket and take a handful of vials. These are the last of the case. Oh, yes. I am making them out of mushrooms now. But, I'll have them, thank you. We can have them. After these last few, I don't know what we can do with the SNR connection broken. But I know there are other ways, repairs, other pharmaceuticals, mushrooms, I even heard there are some labs out on the Greenway, perhaps they can help, they meet your eye, I'm sorry I can't do more. Thank you for everything. They look away, their eyes bright with tears. Aww. Rubaya crosses back to you both and sits beside Sabine. They look at each other and you can't help but smile at the idea of them together. What are you two plotting? Rubaya greens. Sabine laughs and the sound is welcome one. You watch the the two of them teasing each other and smile. Later when you leave, you take that handful of vials out of your pocket and look at them. You can still feel that core of anger deep down inside and you don't know if it ever will leave. But SNRP doesn't own you anymore. They can't because this place, these people own you. They're what makes you get up every cycle. They're what keeps you breathing. You put the vials away and walk through the low end. Your senses turn to every sight, every smell and every sound. Soaking it all and... Living, baby. Living. Hey. We have driven. Nice. Gang, but good. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome back, for fuck's sake. Oh, man. My goodness, only 32? Yes, I'll have a bit of that. And I'll have a bit of that. I don't know if we need ship mines anymore, but... Okay, I think my other battery is stable, so it must be the battery. I 
don't know if it's, if it's better to be the battery or, or the charger, but... Oh my goodness, okay. What the hell did I want to do? Uh, we got two upgrade points. Okay, two, 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 two. Self repair, icebreaker, agent nods gives no. Keep two dice even with the condition breaking. No, reward only once per cycle. I guess all creations are discounted by 20%. No, this has been. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, we need three points. Four plus two. Well, okay, we're almost maxed out. I say almost, but you know what I mean. Uh, boom, boom. Bounce, boom. Boom, chicka, bucka, boom, chicka, boom, boom. All right, great. Okay, if only my battery would turn green, that would be very. Man, it's like 30 degrees, but the, the goddamn wind is going like crazy. It's 29 degrees now. At this current point of time, it's 29, it's 11 p.m. Holy shit, and it's six meters per second. Yo, Resignate, let me ask you. If core, if you're talking about core speed, like 10 cores and whatnot, is it 100 gigabits per second? It's gotta be 100 gigabits per second. It's not gigabytes per second, it's gigabits per second. How many gigabits per second would be in a... How many gigabytes per second would be a, a hundred gigabits per second? Whew. Whew, I don't even know what I said. Uh, I, I don't know what kind of answer I'm expecting here, but good luck. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We have to wait for this. Speed, it's gigahertz. Nah, no, it's it's gonna be here. It's maybe maybe I didn't explain it properly. gigahertz because it's transferring data now where the hell does that say We'll get to the bottom of this. Come on. Oh, come on. Hate this. No, that's not what I want to see. Uh, was it F3? Yeah. Almost. Okay, here we go. 100 GBs per second. That's Ethernet though. I'm not talking about Ethernet. <laughs> I'm not talking about Ethernet. 
it's, it's speed, it's carried in speed, frequency, give me a second, my internet died, could you please repeat the question now, sorry. What is, you say it's gigahertz, but I'm thinking either gigabyte or gigabit, because it's used to describe a core speed of bandwidth. It's bandwidth. Bandwidth must be gigabits or gigabits, right? 100 gigabit Ethernet. Uh, memory bandwidth. Okay, here we go. Memory bandwidth. In practice, achieve DDR bandwidth of 100 gigab GB per second. Could you please tell me what the GB per second application is like to see? Which is what is memory bandwidth GB sec? Memory bandwidth is based on the speed of the video RAM. It's measuring gigabytes per second. And ladies and gentlemen, we have found our solutions. It's measured in gigabytes per second. GB per second. The more memory band you have, the better. Video card with higher memory band can draw faster and draw higher quality images. Okay, that's... There's more to video cards than just memory. Okay. 100 gigabytes per second. Are you fucking kidding me? When did technology advance so, so fast, so rapidly, so far? What? A hundred gigabytes per second? Jesus Christ, I'm old. All right, well, thanks. You said core, I thought CPU core, speed. You do times eight or, or, by, or by bits. Isn't that CPU core, don't? It should be. Video reader RAM, I see, so it's memory. CPU would be gigahertz, right? But if it's like a MacBook, then it wouldn't have gigahertz as a measurement at all now because it's Apple Silicon or whatever. Uh, bunch of nerds in here. Ugh, come on. You know it. You know it, but this is the second time you called me nerd live on TV. There we go. Uh, and you do it in the next 30 seconds. You can get the third time in a row. And plus a potential timeout of resignate. The clock is on. <laughs> uh, it is not, it is not what? You have to speak in full sentences. You know there's a time delay and I forget what I said. CPU speed, do you mean? Okay. Achieve DDR bandwidth of 100 gigabytes per second is the near the maximum that an application is likely to see. If the achievement is the system. Uh, okay. CPU. All right. Let's let's put in CPU speed. In general, a higher clock speed means a faster CPU. However, many other factors come into play. Your CPU processes main many instructions. Low level calculations are different from different programs every second. The clock speed measures the number of cycles your CPU executes per second, measured in gigahertz. The clock speed measures the number of cycles. So like in, in Citizen Sleeper, like how many cycles it needs to grow the mushrooms. So if you have a better CPU, you would need less cycles to grow mudstucky mushrooms. Huh, okay, now that makes sense. All right then. Uh, yes, let's do this. And while you're looking at those speeds, man, I gotta, I gotta speed it up. Is Japan warm today? Man, it's 29 degrees. It's 11 p.m. I, I stood outside for like 10 seconds and I, I, I felt my skin melting. I think the planet is super warm today all over, but yes. There you go. You you are totally eligible to call him a nerd for the third time now. Are you looking at those speeds? Man, I'm all about that speed, man. Look, look how aerodynamic my, my head is. It's all about the speed, baby. No limit. Okay. Should we do one more? What the hell is this? Is this what I want to be doing? Yes. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're very close. You spend the night, you're slow, like thread on a loom. Your mind is a diagram of cause and effect. 
the vast colony ship is coming together block by block. Each cycle you see another piece slot in place. Oh, this is the sh oh, I just realized this is the actual ship. Oh man, you, they couldn't build like a like something a little bit more bigger. Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check out all of the things that we have to check. I don't like that I have to go up all, all the guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one, didn't I? Oh. Okay. Interesting. You can do only one if you put one in here. That is very interesting. Neutral? Neutral on my ass, dude. Come on. Hey, we did dead. Uh, you need the same amount of cycles if I remember correctly, but more of them could be done in a lesser time. I think I understand what you're saying, but I have to read this one more time. <sighs> you need the same amount of cycles. So let's say it needs three cycles to do a matsutake mushrooms, right? But more of them could be done. More of cycles could be done in a lesser time. More of matsutake mushrooms. What? You'd need the same amount of cycles, but more of them could be done in a lesser time. Could you write, write that one more time? Write that one more time. I'm almost there. I'm like 90% got what you want to say. But I, I just need a couple more words in that sentence. Does this game even tell you, let you double jump or parry though? <sighs> Spud, it's not that kind of game. Come on. Okay, here we go. You and Bliss are floating in the base airlock, waiting for it to cycle. Speaking of cycles. You can parry if you get all sixes. Write the goddamn sentence! You pick a few leaves from your clothes as you wait. They float around the chamber as if carried by a lazy wind. Clean work. Bliss bounds a little. Well, thank you, sleeper. You didn't do so bad yourself. She checks her tool belt. Seems like we're getting into a good rhythm. Boom. Here we go. Seems like we're getting a good rim. The now familiar sequence of clunks and rattles sound out, and then the door hisses open. The moment it does, you know something has once again gone wrong. Okay. Here comes more. It's with his goddamn ice cream. What's all this? Bliss asks. A confused looking more. It's beside him are a set of crates anchored to the bay floor. He has clearly just bought, brought them in through the bay's fright lock. Moritz looks nervously between the two of you before answering. It's payment. He runs a hand along the crate. The Sycamore Seed crew just brought them over, but seeing the look on Bliss' face adds, they were very thankful. Ah, uh, I bet they were. What the hell is inside? Mornitz leans over and struggles with the catches on each side of the top crate. As he does, Bliss turns to you. Don't say it. Don't you dare say it. Say what? You know. This isn't my fault. Oh no, Moritz finally gets the catches free and the lead floats off, drifting up into the bay. As it does, a small brown lump floats up with it. Moritz reaches out and catches it as it passes it. It's a mushroom. A damn mushroom. They paid us in mushrooms? Not just mushrooms. He holds a clump of tightly packed leaves. Produce. Bliss starts laughing. Goddamn Haifa commune. Should have known they didn't have a chip to rub between them. She knocks a small brown mushroom across the bay. Wait, hold on there. Hold on, hold on now, those mushrooms. Stop, Bliss. Moritz grabs her hand. These are good, fresh. We can sell them. To whom, Moritz? Are we running a grocery now? Just give it to me. Just give it to me. We need cryo, otherwise the whole bay will be shut down. We can't pay for pirates with leafy greens. She waggles them in Moritz's face. Uh... Moritz is right. Moritz is right, though. We have to do what we can do. I can use them. Moritz is right. Because Moritz is right, then, you know, we get Moritz some, some, you know, some, some clout. And also, we're working for the team. And I can use them. I can just make it for my own profit. But I'm not here for the profit. Bliss raises an eyebrow. Fine. Maybe Moritz is right. But what do we do between now and market day? What a joke this place is turning out to be. Moritz closes up the crates and starts moving them. It isn't that bad, Bless. It's a step in the right direction. He glances at you, looking for backup. Uh, they'll sell well. 
list signs. <sighs> Looks like I went into business with a couple of wannabe farmers. <laughs> Prove me wrong then. Show me this is a windfall. She kicks away towards the new batch together terminal. Until then, I'll be working on how to keep this place open. More it's must. Thank you. And goes back to booming the crates. You better be on your way too. Okay, we got a... We got a hell of a boss over here. Have for good people. Okay. You're not helping me out with my... Here we go. A gimbal? Okay, we're good. Okay, that's gonna be another three cycles. And tres cycles. And also this is as well. Okay, we have three cycles to kill. Oh, oh, I'm flickering, baby. I'm flickering. All right, let's feed the goddamn cat. All right, cat. Ugh. Yeah, nothing. Imagine that. All right, two more cycles over here. Nothing here. Oh man, we could get the the Stardew ship ready, ready to go. And we might also have our mushrooms ready. Almost next cycle, baby. Haifa, Haifaiva. Okay. Uh, here, nothing that we need. And that's it. Okay, resignate. Do we clear the sidereal ship or not? Nah? Should we go for it or not? Nah? Okay, my other battery is charging. My other battery is charging. We gotta buy a new battery, chat. Maybe even buy a new camera. I have a person asking me on the interwebs to buy my current camera. So maybe we use that as an opportunity to buy a better camera, sell this current one to that dude, and bam, profit. Oh my god, I dropped my cable. Resigna, are we good to go on this one? Do we have the green light? You can answer now. Here the goddamn is, here we go. As Blade would say, use it. Are we talking about chance for selling my camera or fixing this? Does Goomb know anything about photography? I mean... I would say no, but... I would say no, but I'm getting asked to do jobs. I'm getting asked to do jobs. It's funny. It's funny how I have no idea how to... Um, how to um, price myself? I did. I did. Uh, I did a, a, an editing job for a friend. So I was like, I don't care. Pay me whatever you want. I was like, okay. I did this for a couple of days editing. It was a little bit of a struggle. I do kind of blame my my seven years old computer for it as well. I was like, okay, if I get like 50 bucks for this, eh, it's fine, right? So I'm like, pay me whatever you want. I don't know. You decide. And she's like, well, you do did you did put in a lot of time. Thank you. Would uh, I know it's not a lot, but would 200 bucks be enough? And I'm like, uh. It's not a hundred thousand. Well, okay. I guess 200 will do the job then. Okay. No problem So we got it we got it chat we got it It was like working with bliss I'm like eh, not I'm, I'm not not only that. I'm not getting paid. I'm giving money. I'm giving money But we got we got we got something back here we go side the real fit up Okay, this is the one it's happening I don't know what is, but it's gonna happen. Side of real horizon. The vast colony ship is coming together block by block. Holy shiz, your crew slowly filters out the shipyard locker room, the bubbling chatter reducing with each group that leaves. There is excitement in the air. Heaven had just made an announcement. The assembly themes are done. 
Sat on a locker room bench, you can feel the sidereal out there. It's hulking mass now intimately familiar to you. Over the past cycles, you have watched it grow, be assembled. You have walked through its veins and welded its bones. Now it is ready for the final stage. It will go testing now, then enter a final process of sealing and resealing, checking and rechecking before it's deemed suitable for its generational trip. But for now, your work is done. You can't help but feel proud. Hey, a cough in the rupture thoughts. It's Slam changing out for his work here. Mina nowhere to be seen. Uh oh, he smiles. She'll be ready soon. Where's Mina? You two are fast friends, eh? She's been washed at home. Now I'm on the work team. I can afford a bit more help. Uh, was on the work team, I mean. We're all out of job now. Heh. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining. Uh, he comes to sit beside you on the bench. She's got to be in her best shape when she carries you. Mina and me out of here. Uh, so confident? Lem smiles apologetically. Why not? I figure I'm due a lucky turn by now. Eh. No use in wondering what if until the draw anyway. And there's a few cycles still then. Lem is right, but the odds seem unlikely anyway. How many are working in the shipyard? Hundreds? A thousand? You certainly see more faces than you can count pass through. And are the Seelys Foundation even going to keep their promise? Out here on the eye, you get the sense that no one will hold them to it. Why else would they be building the side rail in a surrogate system? As you think, Lem watches you with a worried look. Mm. Tell me about Silas. The Foundation? I'm not sure I'm, uh, I know much more than you. I hear they have a planet in mind for the side rail. Something temperate and habitable. I think they are run by some rich folk from the core. People interested in doing things different. Different how? Lem looks into space. Well, I guess they don't like the way the core run things. All these surrogate systems like this one feeding resources into the silos. It's a pyramid of sorts and we are at the bottom layer. I guess Silis wants to change that. I'd rather keep my mind on the prize, so to speak. I don't much care what they are, are for or against as long as they can help us get out of here. Get out of here. We ever been a thunderstorm sleeper? A real big one? Uh, I don't remember. Lem shoots you a word look for a moment. Uh, you okay there, buddy? It's something else. The sound, the smell, the rain hammering down. The whole sky scratched out and bruised, roaring and huge. The place I was born, New Pembroke. A dry old rock in the Conway system had two seasons. One of them was as dry as bone, dusty and ugly. The other was one long storm, a side effect of the terraforming of efforts they said rain used to rattle off the roofs like bullets it washed the dust away it turned the streets to rivers it sing us to sleep and wake us in the morning we'd wait half a year just to see it again the best day was the one where the first drops fell some days i wake up swearing i can hear it again i was thinking mina has never seen a storm never even felt rain she's grown up here and the ring her only horizon, always in the dark. I wanna change that for her. You will, bud. Of course, almost there. Let's get back to the little one anyway. With the shifts done, I reckon she'll be happy to have me home for a few cycles. See you in a few for the draw. I'll be there. Right on. He grims, uh, leaving you make the last person in the cavernous locker room. As you sit, you think about rain and a little hope creeps in. Is it possible? Could the side rail really take you to a planet? A place with weather, with skies, with life? You get up quickly before you can think about it anymore. It's too soon to hope, too dangerous. There's work to be done. I think I'd rather like build a bridge with bliss and then we can do the thing. We can, we can travel on our own, move in the horizon. Okay. If this is happening, I think we're just gonna lose the, lose the pole and we're gonna stay here. Uh, new cameras, new laptop, new prices. Wow, asking about Corp rather than Mina. What? I did ask about Mina. Gotta balance it out. Don't wanna st stress out the man. She must be thinking about her all, all day, every day. Alright, that's not nothing to do here. The only place to sleep in the hub, hacked up. Fuck it, I got that. I got that. 
I got the chips. You hand over the shits and get a basket to capsule 0451. Time to find which of the identical births is yours. That's it? Oh. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Starving? Per cycle? Condition? Huh? Oh, starving. Per cycle. Alright. Self repair. Oh. Oh. You get like a place here for for a thing. I'm flickering though. Dude, I think that's it. We just have to wait now. I can like work or whatever. Jirol? Matsutake? Sure, yeah. Why not? There you go. Do we need scrap? No, we don't need anything. We just need freight operator. All right. That's it. Money for nothing, right? Chicks for free. Stable. Okay, I'm a stable. Get in that horse. And cycle. Let's see if we get fiver now. Hey, we got a fiver. That's nice. Pretty bad draw. However, we got nothing to do, dude. We got we got nothing. We got nothing. Fabricate a ship mine? We could do that. If we needed to. One more cycle here. Shipyard. Have an age. Whoa, it's turning. Uh, shipyard. Oh, okay. In three more cycles. And this. Interesting. To the hub. Oh my god. Okay. This is interesting. Let's see. Algorithm spot, baby. Why is my Steam Discovery queue all booba today? And I don't think there was like one time that I was like, huh, this Discovery queue is kind of okay. Are you checking out the summer, summer sale, Steam games sale games still? Of the steam. Is that what you're doing? Oh, harvest mushrooms. Yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Negative outcome. Fucking hell. Um, what? We only have two? Okay. Now we know where, where we can put in all the uh, the extra dice. I almost did it in here. Every time, goddamn. Nice. Okay. There's money in this mushroom stand. Nice. Grow, my babies. Grow. Okay, and then if we sleep here, Moritz might appear. Here we go. Oh, oh, starving again. Okay, and flickering. Okay, it's fine. We don't need the energy. You don't, right? Okay. 
Alright, could you please... Thank you. I do not show 90% of Steam games. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot of... A lot of... A lot of I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Oh! Tala? Oh, here we go. Tala comes to you one shift when the bar is empty, tapping you on the shoulder as you clean the bar. It's ready. The roll? Obviously, she grabs you by the arm before you can ask you anything else and drags you into the back room. The smell hits you immediately when you enter a cocktail rich fermentation and chemical sharpness. The room is warm and bright now, the newly installed lights making the place look clean, whether it is or not. Tala has already pulled up a couple of stools around a metal crate where the two glasses with a few fingers of pale as you roll inside. Sit waiting. Already? I haven't even tried it yet. You can see she's nervous. You both sit at the makeshift table, the slight strangeness of the situation making you both jumpy. Tala hands you a glass. Cheers, she says solemnly and knocks the glass back. You do the same. The first sensation is burning a sharp, nose-clearing blast of alcohol that has your frame querying whether you would like to activate the safe mode you gulp the drink back and it's only then behind the burn that you taste the earthy tones of the mushrooms the wood and the soil left behind like sediment barely there that's strong Whoa, that was heavy uh pff, honestly it's bad maybe needs diluting has promised though maybe needs diluting Tal spills the roll in her glass that might work open it up a bit Tala grabs a metal bottle from the newly installed work surface and drips some drops of water into the drill. Try again. This time the burn is warming glow, harsh but fading off, and the woodenness less heavy. Mm. You taste something floral in among the marshy decay, something fresh and bright that you never expected to find. Between Tala and I, it's really good, right? It is. Tala grins with the whole face, and that makes you smile too. Tala pours out some more drill and then adds some more water. The action's already taken on the quality of a ritual. You both drink. Tala tucks her feet up beneath her on the stool, folding her legs. She looks down into her glass and swirls the liquid thoughtfully. Mm. What's on your mind? Tala looks up and nothing in particular. Uh, my father opened this place, you know. She says out of nowhere, a thought suddenly becoming words. It was his attempt at making a life for us, for my family, when we got to the eye. Your family? My father, my mother, my little brother. They aren't around now. Mm. Aren't around as in... I'm sorry. That's okay. My parents had long lives and my brother is somewhere in the Star Wars belt. Ran off with a salvage crew. She puts her glass down. He's alive as far as I know. I was just thinking about something he told me. When he first set his place uh, up, he wanted to call it the Bantayan. But he was afraid it'd scare off the customer, so he kind of translated. Hence, the overlook. In these past few cycles, when I've been in here, I've been thinking that I should rename the place. She, t she looks at you. The Bantayan. What do you think? Uh, what does it mean? It means the Overlook. Yeah. I love it. She looks away. Me too. Tala picks up her glass. That settles then. To Bantayan. You both clink your glasses and drink up. Tala hisses through her teeth. Still harsh. She laughs and suddenly grabs your shoulder. Oh, sleeper, I totally forgot. She stumbles to her feet. She lurches over to a corner of the room covered with a plastic sheet and whips it off like a magician performing a trick. Beneath is a neat little kitchen. Oh! A sink, a work surface, and a compact oven with a hub. Your kitchen! Great, more work. She doesn't give you time to respond. You can make, come make stuff here anytime as long as you promise not to raid the mushroom farm. I need those for the roll. I was thinking too that if things pick up, we can start serving proper food at the Overlook. I mean the Bantayan. Haha, <laughs> do you like it? It's perfect. Tala gives you a hug, then quickly stands back. I'm sorry, I just. I'm so glad you're here. I think we've had enough. Me too. As Tala tidies away the glasses, you inspect the kitchen, checking it all works. It's small and salvaged, but after what you had to put up with, it feels like a dream come true. Later, when she's done for the day, Tala comes back through uh, to the bar, and you share a glass of the Gurji roll, the one she didn't distill. Ooh. And this time you talk about nothing in particular, sharing stories about regulars or discussing the best place to eat on the eye, which after everything that has happened feels like a nice change of pace. Sure is. When it comes time to leave, you promise to cook for Tala and agree to let her know which shift you'll be working in the coming cycles, and then slip out in the cool of the rotunda. Hold on. 
Hold on. He's totally gonna die now. What the hell kind of writing is this? All is nice, but we're saying goodbyes at the same time. And in this moment you feel, for once, at home. Free spirit, okay. Oh no, it's blinking already. The Bantayan? Ah, oh, for crying out loud, where's my space phone? Uh. Space hello? Ah. Oh. It's the music, I've been bamboozled again. Here we go. Cook Matsutake caps, okay. Bar shift, cook Girol caps. Okay, we don't have to cook anything right now. Ah, uh, this is great, we can cook our own goods. Ah, uh, never cook your own supply though, that's, that's what they say. This thing is moving fast and furious. That's it, let's see if Bliss has something to show us. Oh, nothing, all right. Uh, I don't want to end cycle though. Let's at least work for some scraps. Okay, so I think next cycle is when things start to happen. That be gonna get you banned, just you wait. What do you mean? What? What? Oh my goodness, okay. All right, we got a sixer down. Sixer, nice. What do you mean, get me banned? Come on, do it. I haven't used the serum for a while now. It's good, it's good. Let's do one more. Okay, great, good stuff. Fucking hell. Uh oh. Sleeper. Moritz is leaning against the corridor wall. It's time. Big job just came in. Grand finale. You up for it? Grand finale. All right, then. we're in business. He pushes away from the wall. This has to work, sleeper. Has to. If it doesn't, we're in trouble. The bay, you mean? Uh, we were already in trouble before you got here. The work so far hasn't been enough. Look, Bliss has had a rough time of it. I thought you all would understand that. Sorry, didn't mean to be. Bliss is a good one. She gave me a chance. I owe her. Strains up. I know you have your own things going on, sleeper. We all do, but the bay needs someone. Bliss needs someone. Hell, I need someone to help me keep Bliss from spinning out completely. He scratches the side of his head. Otherwise, there is not much I can do. And I would hate not to pay back my debts. Moritz stretches. I've got to get back. And walks away. I'm out. See you up there. All right, Moritz. Keep, keep your, keep your, keep your bloody horses down. Okay, we're going up, up the space elevator. And then, oh my God, Lemon Mina, okay. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta see what Lemon Mina have to, have to say first though. The crowds have already gathered by the time you get to the shipyard and you recognize faces amongst them, people you have worked alongside on the side reel. Oh my God. The intervening cycles have turned their excitement to anxiety and a few of them smile at you. Instead, the nervous energy of the crowd fills the space, creating a feedback loop of growing tension. You pick up Lamb and Mina and work your way through them, pushing through the crowd. He suddenly raises his eyebrows at you, his anxiety obvious, but Mina flashes you a huge smile, unaware of the tension. Robot! She calls you, reaching out to you. Uh, hugger. She... Gratefully accept your hug, leaning against your chest, and Lamb smiles, seemingly glad to share the weight of Mina for a moment. <laughs> quite a turn, quite a turnout, huh? Yeah. Lamb glances around, pulling Mina close. I don't think patience is one of these crowd's strengths. The sound of an argument towards the back catches your and Lamb's attention. He's putting it lightly. This place seems set to explode. Mm, this isn't good. Lamb doesn't dare answer, <laughs> but the look in his eyes suggests he agrees. Uh, this is Aster 
end card of the Sealy's Foundation. The announcement echoes from the speakers at the shipyard entrance and shouts of Riot rapidly follow. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there for me to meet you all and thank you on behalf of Sender Sealis for the work you have done at the Sidereal Horizon. Most of the crowd strains to see Aster's face but the small display shows only a ghostly white figure smudged and unclear. Nowhere to be seen. Sender won't make you to pass on her personal thanks for your commitment to and belief in the Sealy's Foundation's mission. We chose the I for this project because we knew that we would find like-minded individuals here, especially among the ranks of the Venerable Heavenage Association. Unlike most of the core, we need to believe Ireland's eye to be a threat to all our rogue state, but instead an embryo for the formation of a new decentralized social structure, one where each citizen might be the master of their own destiny. A ripple of impatience runs through the crowd. They didn't come here for a sermon. You are all pioneers, just like those core citizens who decide real horizon will carry in cryo sleep to the planet that will become the Foundation's first frontier world, Salis One. At the mention of the destination world, excited conversations break out among the workers. There, our citizens will be able to create their own innovative bottom up economic order aligned with the principles set down by Sandra Salis herself. Freedom, resilience, and self-sustenance. This is all thanks to your tireless efforts in the Heaven Edge Yards. As a reward for those efforts, you may know that we are offering a second group the opportunity to join the caretakers of this vision, the staff of the Sidereal Horizon who will maintain the vessel during its multi-decade transit through interstellar space. Lamb turns to you, his eyes bright. Yes, yes, yes. This draw has been performed at random by the central AIs of the Foundation and is final and binding. Please note, only licensed contractors of the Foundation are eligible for this draw. I know you have all been eagerly awaiting this day, and without further delay, I will now read the Sealy's identification numbers of those chosen for this great honor. They have to be kind of British though, right? A murmur runs through the crowd. Sealy's identification numbers? Licensed contractors? You have never even heard of them third mention. Is this something you were supposed to be assigned? And here we go. You glance at Lem, but his eyes are fixed forward, wide and shimmering. All around you, people are speaking in hushed tones, like a rising wave. Aster starts reading out sequences of numbers and letters, and panic begins to set in. No one seems to know what is happening. Somewhere near the front of the crowd, someone shouts in celebration, and everyone pushes forward. Lem? You turn to see Lem still staring forward. Mina is scared now as she starts as she shouts start. Daddy? Someone throws something at the entrance and it rattles against the shipyard doors. You see for the first time Heaven Edge security stood on either side, scared, arguing between themselves. You feel the anger rising in the crowd. Lem, let's go. Try to leave, keep pushing? Interesting, interesting. Hello! Ashuri! Ashuri chan! Genki desu ka? What do we do, chat? Uh, Lem, let's go. I would say Lem, let's go only because he has Mina. Otherwise, I'd be like, keep pushing. Eat the rich. Burn the ship. I don't care. Keep pushing, let's go. You let the anger take you, carry you forward with the surging crowd. The squeeze is heavy and shouts call out from around you in a chorus. The crowd becomes a blur of faces, all angry, all confused. Let's get them. You aren't in control anymore. The crowd moves you. You see the fear of the faces of security as they are backed against the wall. One of them backs into the display. They reeled out for Asta's speech and it falls, smashing across the floor. Projectiles fly from swung arms and one catches you in the back of the head. You stumble forward and are pushed aside. The blur intensifies and you stumble back from spinning between bodies until you fall out of one side of the crowd and slam into a wall. You catch your breath there and watch as the crowd pushes forward and back against the shipyard wall. Suddenly the anger fades and fear takes its place. The crowd beats itself once more against the wall. It's time to go. You limp away head down as the security sirens sound out, a signal for the coming violence. God damn it. Drive failed? Ah, oh, God. Yeah, let's not die here. Oh, did not go this way. Come on. Let's not die here. Eat the rich. We build the goddamn ship. What the hell is this? Official contractors. My ass. 
we build this ship with this blood and sweat. Yeah, I knew that was not gonna happen. Uh oh. There's note on the door of the sleeper. Gone to find work. Lamb. Oh. Lamb. My buddy. But now I know how it ends. There you go. Let's see. Let's see what Bliss Bliss wants. Uh, untangle the sails. Okay, let's see. Solar window. The selected launch window for the starboard. Starju Vector's maiden voyage is closing. This is going to be a tight one. This is the one. Well, how about we, we get on this ship, we bring Lem and Mina, and we just get the heck out of here. Rigged and ready, the Star Wars experimental sail deployment failed horribly. Now its massive solar sail needs to be repaired. Okay. Uh, an exhausting task, patching solar sails means maintaining a laser focus for long periods of time, and time is something you don't have. However, the spurs need resetting and the system rebooting, but if you are careful, you can safely untangle some of the sails while you do this. I mean, hello? Oh, it's the, it's the same thing there, right? Sheesh. Uh, plus three, rigged and ready. Minus two, rigged and ready. Interesting. And this is only minus energy. Let's see what happens with this. Plus three rigged and ready. Okay, great. That was great. Hello? You can only lose the energy here. Positive outcome. That's fantastic. Oh, yes, baby. Nice, nice. Hey, all right, we're almost half. We're halfway there. Oh, I got one more. Uh, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus plus three. Hello. Here we go, baby. Yo, that's 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 nicely done, dude. That's nicely done. We'll take a sleep right over here. We just have a cat back home, right? Boom, boom, boom. Boopy, 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 boom. Ah, God damn it. Okay. Okay. A hundo. I'll take a hundo. Yes, and a five. That's a 50 50. Positive. Hell yeah. Okay. Another sixer. Noise, noise. And we'll get it next cycle. You don't have a cat. Cat has you. I hate how true that is. I think the ship is is ready now. This cycle. God damn, it's hot. Okay, we did it. Wait a minute. Now we're good. We got it. The atmosphere in the air airlock is euphoric. You and Bliss keep grinning at each other like idiots, exhausted, blinded, sore, and aching idiots. Sleeper, that was incredible. She punches you in the arm. I never thought we were going to make it. Those idiots tangled the whole thing up like nothing I've ever seen. We make a good team. Bliss smiles a winning smile. As the lock's inner dock door clunks open, Moritz gives a rare whoop. He looks ex exhausted too, and for good reason. Mortis has been the one ferrying tools and parts back and forth from the ship. His tired smile tells you he's glad it's done. Sleeper, Bliss, shakes his head. Impressive. When I saw that ship come in, I thought we there was no way. Why, thank you, Moritz, for believing us. Moritz rolls his eyes. You know what I mean. Take the compliment. He shoulders some of the 
uh, Girded came back in with you and Bliss and has the racks the stoic Bliss turns to you. I think you should be the one to do the honors. She nods to the ragged looking console, they're more assembled. I don't want to drink it. She smiles, but you can see she is genuinely nervous. Don't worry. Uh, check the console. Pfft. Don't worry. I'll stop worrying when the shits are in my hands, and I'm giving them to a gimbal Barton bartender. You glide over to the console and check the screen. It takes a second to see what you're doing through the flickering crack display, but after a moment, you see the accounts. And there it is, almost a thousand Creo sat in the base transfer account. Well, Bliss calls. Have we been screwed again? It's there. Bliss kicks off from the floor and spins up into the base shouting as she does. The noise takes more it's by surprise and he knocks a rack of parts, scattering handfuls of metal fixings across the bay. The sight is something glittering, glinting steel catching the work light. <laughs> Feels like that. <laughs> Sorry, says Bliss grinning when she comes back down. I needed that. She kicks off and joins you at the terminal. Moritz even managed to sell the products. We made a ti tidy profit. Eventually. <laughs> Here, she loads a stack of blank sheets into the terminal and transfers a chunk of the Creo to them. This is your cut. When you first met me, I was on the edge of giving it up. All it would have taken was one more push. But now, now this place is sparking again. Work is in, coming in. There are funds in the accounts. Even more, it says a spring in his step. You both look over at him, happily racking up tools. That's because of you. She punches you on the arm. Ow. He likes you. He's a good kid. He isn't bad, is he? She leans in closer. You know he came here looking to rob the place? I gave him a job instead. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you that. I just thought it might help you understand the kid. Moritz turns to look at you and both bliss and you awkwardly wave. Maybe it's time to change the subject. Are you going to be okay? Me? Always. From here on, it's uh, going to be a little easier. I'm going to look for some component contracts, stuff that will keep us inside the bay. Not out in the black. No need to risk our necks if we don't need to. You want to cash out? That's fine. There will always be a little work for you when you need it. I appreciate it. She smiles and then, out of nowhere, quickly gives you a hug. She steps back and glances around reflexively. Take care. You too. You turn to leave. And sleeper? Yes. Don't spend it all at once. Hey, we got 300 shits. One last job. Morris is speaking with someone remotely. Is there another job coming in? Two, four, six cycles for us to find out. Okay. All right. Is the ship ready? Oh, no. Red isn't good, though. Yeesh. All right, Minji. Okay, one more cycle for them as well. Ay, ay, ay. I don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Okay. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. And we got three spores ready. Hey, nice. Positivus. That's what we're all about. Positive vibes. How long is the photo work tomorrow if you'd like to share? It's not photo work, it's video work. But, I don't know. Until they get sick of me filming them. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. They made like a rough sketch, but they're like, yeah, my teacher's gonna be here and my friend is gonna be there. I'm like, to do what? We, we haven't really talked about that part. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. It's like a pre-opening, wedding opening ceremony video. So I think whatever we make, it's going to be a, a fun experience. Hopefully. Hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hell yeah, I can cook some mji rolls. Oi, oi, oi. Now that's nice. 
do we have some scrap? We sure indeed. Let's see if we can stable ourselves up. Hell yeah. Ugh, I feel I'm getting fatigued. Let's find out what happens in with the ship and Lem. And then we'll take a little break. That's the attitude. Okay. Okay, we got we got the Alright. Okay. A worker and daughter. Okay, come on. I don't care if the ship fails. I just want my friends to be well. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's no answer when you buzz Lamb's unit, but the door is open. You push the door and find Mina sitting in the middle of the floor, playing with Bum Bum. I think we have just found a daughter for ourselves. Hi, Mina. Hi, Robot, says Mina, sullenly waving Bum Bum's paw without looking up. How are you? Bum Bum is sad, says Mina, nodding the toy's head in agreement. Like daddy. You look around the unit. It's a mess. Dishes and glasses on the side. Some of Mina's clothes piled up in a corner. Mina is sitting by her bag, which is spilled across the floor. Her drawing slate cracked and dark. Tidy up. You start with the kitchen units, piling up the dishes in the auto wash and wiping them down. You pile the clothes up next, folding them neatly. Mina watches you quietly as she plays, curious but silent. You just started to look at fixing her cracked slate when Lem enters. Oh. Slipper, what are you? He pauses and looks uh, from you to Mina and back again. Never mind. He drops the bag by the door and slaps onto the couch. <sighs> Everything okay? Lem lets out a weak laugh. <laughs> you forgot to pass few cycles now too. Wish I was so lucky. He looks away at the open door. Look, now's not a good time. I want to help. Help? Unless you have a side real ticket or two and you, I don't think there's much you can do here. He pinches the bridge of his nose. You understand they never even put us on the list, right? I've been all around the rim looking for work and I've run into more than a few from the crews. It turns out only long-time Havenage members were issued those silly ID numbers. They never planned to consider us at all. Havenage said they didn't know that was uh, what was they want to going to make the draw. And who knows, maybe Silas pulled the wool over their eyes. But what does it matter? All those hours in the yards for a hand to mouth wage and nothing else. <sighs> that can't be it. Well, it is. They're moving the side rail up the hub now, you know, he says without meaning your eye. That's where it'll depart from. They're, uh, they're bringing up ship with all their curiously pioneers and transferring them up there in microgravity before loading the crew. We could sneak aboard. We could steal a ticket. We could sneak aboard. You think they are just going to let people on board? The security they'll have has to be impossible. He looks over at me. Look, we'll be fine. We always have been. I just need a little time. <sighs> we had a hard set on the trip is all. Mina comes over and climbs into his lap. <sighs> he smiles. What if I got you on board? Eh, I missed you these past few cycles. I missed that optimism. Lem strokes Mina hair. Look, you want to go up the hub and ask around? Be my guest. I can't get up there with Mina down here, and I'm sure the side will bring in a crowd. But be careful. This kind of thing always attracts scammers and thieves. You find any way on board, you take it. You need help to get there? Ask me. But for now, me and Minnie here are sticking on the eye. Uh, I'll find a way for us all. Lem smiles but doesn't say anything. You stand to leave and Mina grabs your hand, eager to give you one more smile. Then you're out back in the walkways of the low end, already thinking of plans to make this spread. Well, we have to eat the rich. That's heaven age. Where, where are they? Let's go get him. Where's Fang? Okay. Okay, nothing here, huh? Or is it? Have an age agent? Have a J agent? Have a J agent? Tambour? Nothing. Oh, more. Nothing happens if I do this, that, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. I'll give you all the information you need about those bastards. It's a repeatable action. Ah, nothing there. Minji? Nothing with Minji either. Aww. Uh, I guess we just wait for them and wait for the last job. Could that be a coincidence? Scout the dock away on board. The side reel is being loaded and prepped. Among all the commotion, is it possible to find a way on board? Okay, all right. Hell yeah. A way on board. A wee wee wee. Ooh la la. And are we gonna find a way on board? Uh, right a uh, meow. Working fast here, are we? Hey, we got it. Caster. What a human isn't she? Sanders seal is most proud. You recognize the resonating voice of Caster immediately. They turned to see him hooded and tucked in the shadows near the viewing platform. Caster? I see you remember a game. Good. He looks around and the platform is clear. I'm afraid we have to wait for a rematch. Microgravity makes double a little difficult. Guess he walks out to stand beside you on the platform. The telltale clunk of magnetic boots accompanies his slow crossing. He notices you're looking at him. I don't much like it up here. I hear there was some trouble at the Heaven and Shipyard when they announced the results of the crew lottery. Yeah, I was there. I know. An ugly business. Seals are too used to the way things work in the core. Exploitation is only logic they know. Hmm. You know what they build this monstrosity on the eye? Control? Certainly. There is no corporate oversight over here. But that's not all. He stared at the pristine yellow hall. Seals build it here because they didn't want anyone to know it exists. He rubs his forehead. And secrecy is something I cannot abide. Mm. There are people being loaded on the ship as we speak. Sleeping people, locked in Creo, sleep like the person that you were emulated from. There are hundreds of them, and Seelus wants to send them out on a planet at the edge of the cell of systems without anyone knowing where it is. But you, sleeper, can do something about that. You are like me, you deal with data. You can read it right out of the air. With someone like you on that ship, secrecy isn't a problem. You can ping back whatever I need whenever I need it, as long as you are on board. What are you saying? With you on the side reel and some minor modifications, you will be my eyes and ears. I will keep track of Seal's grand projects through you. In short, I can get you a board sleeper, but I'm going to need you to help. Who are you? I'm a concerned party, someone who likes to know what is happening when it's happening, not afterwards. It's not just me. Yes, your friend Lem. That can be arranged. It's difficult, but not impossible. The condition is, of course, that you go too. Do we want to go? Caster clunks closer to the window, watching the tugs wheeling around the side reel. It's a simple offer, and the only one that will get you on that ship. Please consider it. He turns back, silhouetted against the ship. But to make it happen, I need your assistance. As I said, there is a Sealy's Foundation ship docked in a now empty shipyard. I need the data from its service. This will allow me to produce the IDs necessary for transit. Caster looks over the. Sealy's aren't stupid, though. Their ship is still the isolated from the station. You'll need to get on board if you want access to their air walled servers. Once you have the data, meet me at your friend's unit so we can give him the good news. <laughs> I know this is importance to you and the little one. So cute. You don't exact the data before the side rail horizon leaves the hub when I will get the message. Uh, we have other options, but you are certainly my preferred one. But be sure when you act, sleeper. Once you take the data from Silas, you'll set off a series of events that will likely be hard for you to untangle yourself from. Either way, I recommend you stop asking around up here. You're bringing a lot of attention to yourself. There's only a handful of cycles until departure, sleeper. Make your decision. With that, Caster uh, marches back up the platform, sounds off, the Maggie boots fading away, leaving you to contemplate the side real horizon and the part it may play in your future. What the shiz? Okay, there's a couple of cycles. We can definitely do this before the thing. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Krajo? Cryo me a river? Cryo me a river? Clock rate. What is CPU clock speed? We're back. We're back. We're back at this clock speed. My goodness. Now that was, that was a nice, uh, That was a nice cliffhanger right there. 
Whew. Are we getting off of this eye of this whatever it is station? Or what are we gonna do? We've made a lot of friends. We got Tala. We got we had Ankita, but Ankita's gone. We have Bliss, we have Moritz, we have Emphis. Sabine and and Rabin. Hello? At least seven. Are we just gonna go? Why? Ay 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 ay. It seems like whatever happens is gonna happen next next stream. That's gonna be it. It's gonna be the one. Fun times. Fun time, fun times. Well that's it. That's that's the one. That's that's what it is. That's what it is. Fun times, fun times. Are you ready? Are you ready to leave the station? <laughs> Looking at it now, I'd stay and work in the tavern, hang out with Sabine and Rabia. Exactly what I'm thinking, yeah. Where the hell are you gonna go? You're not that young anymore. Who are you to go explore new horizons? What? You got your own Girol farm. You have, you know, Sabine and Rabin, and that's it. What the hell, right? Ay, ay, ay. So I guess that's gonna be our final choice. Where are we gonna go? Or where are we gonna go not? That's gonna be the one. That's gonna be the one. And that's gonna happen tomorrow. Oh my god, chat, I have like four or five days off. I cannot even believe it. I know I'm working tomorrow and I'm probably gonna work another day, but I already made reservation for the gym. The gym. Jap Japanese Physical Education JPEC. Physical Education Center, let's call it. JPEC. Reservation made. I'm already paying for another gym though that I have to cancel. But, you know. ADHD problems, I guess. That's happening on the 26th. Tomorrow, 25th, we're doing a pre-wedding shoot all day probably. So we're gonna be dead. But we might, we, might, we, we might be a sleeping citizen when we come back. 26th, gym and coffee. Helping our friend who's who's having an interview. So we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be like, yo, maybe you should say this and that. Twenty-seven. Going in, in an adventure. Probably, hopefully. Get the car and go somewhere nice. Make some Instagrammable content. And that's it. That's that's all I have. 28, 29th. I got no plans. Those are the best kind of plans. We can stream. We can we can do a twenty four hour stream. We won't. I'm just saying that we, we could, but we're not going to do it. Oh, that's it. I haven't had a week off in like two years, probably. I'm not even, that's actually true, probably. That's actually true, probably. Well, there you go. That's me. That's life. So how are, um, how are you doing? Okay then. Spud Muffin is okay. Spud Muffin is telling me go to go to bed. Okay, I will. I am. It's midnight. It's midnight. It's midnight. It's midnight, and I probably have to get up in like six hours to get ready for the shoot and all that. Oh my god, I haven't even charged my phone. Where's my cable? Okay, the other battery, the other Sony battery is charging. It's probably gonna need like two more hours, but. It's green. It's not flickering. It's good. Spud, resignate. Everybody else, thank you for hanging out. The 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 resident lurkers as well. I see you. I see you. Thank you for hanging out. 
Hope you're enjoying this Blade Runner space adventure. It's a lot of reading, but I kind of like it. It's you can you can just play it as a podcast. It's nice. Don't uh, don't doubt your identity. Identity, you know, if you identify as a robot, that's that's what you are. If you're a robot who identifies as human, that's who's there to stop you. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. Propagandas. Eat the rich. Be kind to yourselves, and have a wonderful day. Let's also do. Uh, let's also do a uh, raid. Raid, Ash. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Sounds great. There you go. Let's let's raid Ash and 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 see like like a little bit of head popping before we go to bed. That's what you want to do, right? Okay. Do we have do we have what one or two people? Three viewers. Okay. There. Oh, five viewers. Oh, six. Oh my goodness, everybody. All right, say, uh, okay, messages, uh, let's go, L-E-S-S-S-S-S-G-O-O-O-O, there you go, that's the one, love you, chat, see you soon, see you tomorrow, stay frosty, everybody, let's go.